Alrighty guys, we have arrived at the Cliffs of Moher. Right. And as you can see guys, it's a busy day. Cliffs of Moher experience. Lots of people. All right, guys, what shall we do? Let's take the lift first. Alright guys, there's a couple of lookout points. So I'm taking the one to the right first. Obviously because this one is a bit more steep and then it'll make it easier for me when I come down to go the other way, which is not as steep. I think that's some clever thinking there. Wow man. That's the Atlantic Ocean by the way. Schau mal, da stehen auch noch Leute. Das ist ein gutes Stück an den Klippen entlang. Das ist eigentlich, glaube ich, cooler für die Höhle, oder? Da hinten. Das ist, kann, so kann ich nicht. Wenn man da hinten steht, ist es halt das Beste. Ja, dann lass er da hinten noch. Aber wenn du da hinten stehst, ist es ein bisschen mehr geschieht. Ich habe jemanden testet auf dem Wire. Ja. Wie schön ist das? Wie schön ist das? Das ist amazing, oder? Right?
Wow, this is insane, man. Est-ce qu'il est déjà 11h30 On va aller de l'autre côté. Right, guys. It's a bit of a hike. Wow, guys, these views are crazy. They are absolutely insane. Wow. Look at that view, man. It's far down, <laughs> I gotta tell you. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm literally on the edge guys wow if you're not careful you can actually slip down and fall so I would advise you to be absolutely careful especially when it's raining and the ground's all wet it might become more slippery or in fact it will become slippery and uh, luckily for us today it is not raining but the ground is still slippery and uh, we don't want to go too close to the edge Living on the edge, man. Living on the edge. Right, we gotta make our way back up. And remember, I went to the right because I thought it was the easier path to follow. But, guys, whew. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's see when we get to the other side. It's not a struggle. I promise. Look at me go. Okay. All right, guys. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All the walking that I've done in every place I've visited. Wow, man. Nothing prepared me for this. Let's go. Right guys, we made it to the top. But it's not done yet. There's still a way to go. Yeah! Hey, buddy! <laughs> hey, guys! I gotta come clean. I wasn't really struggling. Alright? 
he did. It was just for dramatic effect. Life's about the climb and it's about the journey, you know? So climbing is not always easy. Like downhill is easier, you know? But it's like that. It's the hills and valleys, the ups and downs. Sorry, people are watching me doing the sermon here right now. So let me not... Uh, let me not bring out the big guns. Let me keep it simple, all right? You know that I love cliff jumping, right? Man, I live for it. But let me tell you, and I gotta be completely honest with you, this is one cliff that I will not jump off. Uh, I don't think anybody will make it. It is too high. And uh, I don't think you'll see the light of day. I made some new friends here as well. Hey bro, what's up? <laughs> what's up, dude? So we have to make our way back to the bus. We've been given a time of one hour, 20 minutes. And from there we're gonna go to a place called Doolin. And then I think we're gonna have lunch over there. And then we'll be going to Galway just to hang out in the city, do some, uh, visit some of the markets, and I reckon just chill out a little bit. And then we'll be making our way back to Dublin. I think we're only gonna go back to Dublin. We're scheduled to be back there at uh, 7.30 this evening. So uh, we got plenty of time just to hang out and take in some of the scenery. It's beautiful. I gotta push on. It is nearly 20 past 12 and we're supposed to be there at 20 past. So I think I've got like two minutes. I think I'll make it. And uh, I see the bus is still standing. The driver did say that he will leave with or without me. <sighs> you too. Alright. I hope you enjoyed that tour guys I try to bring you as much as possible of the cliffs you know some of the shots might be the same but you know what uh, for me it, it just seems like it's all the same but you watching might find something different in it all right but I hope you enjoyed it I hope I did justice to to this place it's really stunning it is really amazing and I'm so glad that I did it. It cost me 75 euros guys. It's not cheap but I think included in that is obviously a luxurious uh, a luxury coach. So it's a luxurious drive. It is worth Irish day tours and also included is lunch I think and then also a few stops along the way and the driver is really really informative he tells you everything as we're driving <laughs> there he is <laughs> uh, giving us little stories of uh, Ireland and the history and so forth all right guys so we are now at Doolin and Doolin is a little Irish village known to be the home of traditional Irish music all right so we just stopped here for some lunch we're gonna come to this pub I think it's McGann and we're gonna just stop for some lunch and uh, maybe a pint or two you never know hey <laughs> thank you yeah just keep going guys right maybe stopping for a pint or two oh yeah there we go
Imagínate cuántas personas Todos los días por aquí de No, manda a mi tía. Ya me a la. Sí, casa ahí. Let's see what's on the menu. Poco el sitio. Al menú está ahí, vamos a ver. Right, that's the menu, guys. Soup of the day, seafood chowder, uh, chicken Caesar salad. I think I might go for the Irish beef stew. I wonder why they call it Irish beef stew. Maybe it should just be beef stew. You know, we are in Ireland. All right, beef burger, mushroom. Ah, it's all good. I think I know what I want. Alrighty, that's my Irish beef stew. So that's fourteen fifty, guys. What is this called? I'm not sure if I can get into. Oh, let's see how far we can get. All righty, I think we've got some nice views out here. Wow. All right, you just got to watch your footing out here. Apologies guys, I'm slipping out here, so just gotta watch where I'm walking. Does the waves come all the way up here? Yeah, yes. in, in the winter. Goodness. When storms, the wow. Come up, they crash against the Oh and it comes up this it splashes this high up. Yeah, all right. Very calm. Wow. <clears throat> Wow guys, this is amazing man, this is so beautiful. Gotta be honest guys, I was not prepared for any of these. I had no idea it's gonna be this beautiful and uh, that we're gonna see so much. Guys, I just gotta watch where I'm walking because if I slip and fall, that's it guys. It's bye bye. And you don't wanna fall down these cliffs here. Check it out. I have to make my way back to the bus guys. We only had 10 minutes. And then we gotta head back to Galway. We're heading back to Galway just to check out the village. Maybe do some shopping as well. I'm not doing any shopping though, but it's always nice to see what they have on offer. Um, maybe some uh, souvenirs or some curios. But wow guys, 
island. Wow, it really surprised me. Alrighty guys, we have arrived in Galway. So uh, according to Google, Galway is a balmy bohemian city with a love of traditional music. Galway is hard to resist. The spirit of Ireland's west coast beats through the bustling streets. Alright, so that's Galway. So we've got about an hour in the city and uh, so apparently there's some street markets and some music all sorts of stuff i do see a pier this looks like a little docking area on the side oh yeah it's a harbor it's like an old little town guys it's interesting Looks like a nice little chill vibe out here. No. Wow, this current looks strong. These are, uh, I suppose, all the little pop up markets, pop up little stores. Interesting. And made in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, today, yeah. Been successful, make your money. 
Guys, what do I see? Burros. If you're strong, then you must appear to be weak. And if you're weak, you must appear You know that Burros is South African, right? That guy did not sound South African at all. Uh, but maybe he is, maybe he's been living here for a while. But I didn't detect an accent. But yeah, Burvos is a South African cuisine. It's really sausage. <laughs> Normally a beef sausage. But it's huge in South Africa. Well, I mean, <laughs> not the sausage. The, uh, the brand, Burvos, is big in South Africa. So we would normally have the, as we would call it, the braai. Uh, the Americans, I think the Australians would call it the barbecue. The barbie. We would call it the braai. And we'd always slap on some, some steak or some lamb chops and uh, burros. And the burros would normally be a beef sausage. And the burros is a little thicker than the normal sausage. That is why it's called burro. Because it's a bit fatter. And uh, people like infuse it with different spices to give it a different taste. So that is why we have burros rolls. So it would just be a, a bun, a bread bun with some burros on there with some hot sauce or tomato sauce or a mustard sauce some people use a combination um, I like to put on some sriracha or a chili sauce whatever but yeah that's the story behind the burros it was just strange to see it out here in Ireland so maybe he has a big expat uh, community of South Africans as well. Who knows? Thank you.